Hey y'all. So, just kind of wanted to do a little review of this uh, 1977 Peugeot 50cc racy kit. Um, I don't know a lot of other people that are running these yet, so I figured I'd do a video and kind of report my findings. But, it's, uh, it's $99. It's pretty cheap. And it's pretty nice. Um, it's, uh, it's got some, uh, pretty huge transfer ports. Um, I, uh, I did chamfer the, uh, all the, all the transfers, uh, boost port, exhaust port, and stuff like that, but they were pretty smooth to start out with, so, I mean, you'd probably be fine just, uh, bolting it on, but, uh, yeah, so, I'm not really doing anything with the transfers or boost port or anything. They're, they're nice and big already, so I'm just going to leave those. Um, the, let me see, the exhaust port, this I opened up. This, uh, uh, I'm going to be using this uh, uh, Simonini uh, pipe, which I'll get to in a little bit, but uh, what I wanted to do is uh, match the port up to the flange. This, with this, you can kind of notice, that's no longer the uh, the screw style mount you have with the stock Peugeot kit. It's, uh, yeah, it's just this flange deal that goes on there. This is about 24.75 millimeters, so there, when you first get this, there's, there's like a ridge on the inside. And uh, basically if you eliminate that ridge and kind of open it up, it's pretty close to a direct match, so um, that should maybe help things breathe a little bit bigger. I didn't uh, widen any ports or do anything crazy with changing the timing or anything like that, so that's that, but I don't know, I'm pretty impressed with this for being such an inexpensive kit. Um, it's, I mean, the casting seems like it's done pretty well, and uh, uh, I don't know, it's got a nice, uh, nice color to it, I guess. But uh, one thing is this one does not have a hole for decomp that goes. It would there'd be a hole right here that would go down into the exhaust port. Um, so I don't know. I might just drill a hole and put one in. Probably not. But if it's really hard starting and stuff, but I think I should be fine without the decomp. But I don't know. This is kind of for my reliable daily driver moped, so I, I guess, I don't know, as long as my decomp isn't leaking, but whatever, I'll deal with that later. So, here's the piston, it's a dual ring piston, um, it's got these nice, uh, uh, I think these, I don't know if you call them eyebrow, but whatever, it's got notches into the, uh, the wrist pin grooves that uh, will help oil and stuff get in there and lubricate that, I don't know. I drilled two little holes bottom of the, uh, uh, I don't know, the wrist pin holders, for lack of a better term. But yeah, so I did that, um, kind of do that on all my stuff. I don't know, maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. Doesn't, can't hurt, so whatever. Um, this is the pipe that they recommend getting with it. Um, it's also relatively cheap. I think this is, I don't know. Think it's a hundred bucks? Can't really remember or whatever. But like most French pipes, it uh, can't really see in here. But when you first get it, there is this uh, restrictor that's in there. Uh, it's basically just held in with a tack with a tack weld. You can uh, grind that out, and uh, then you're golden. Um, and so the uh, I kind of had to go around here with a Dremel uh, just uh, to. I don't know, widen it out just a little bit so that the, like this is a pretty tight fit so that the flange fits in there. So there's that. Um, once this is in here, there's, uh, you see there's two hooks where your springs are going to mount up. Let me flip this guy over. There's uh, one here, one there, and there's that. This, um, uh, this will mount right, mount right to the bottom of the motor, so uh, there's no uh, pivoting ball joints or anything like that. This whole thing affixes solidly to the engine, and 
yeah, so no ball joints or, or swing arm deals or anything like that. So, I don't know. It looks like a pretty decent pipe, but I, I haven't run it yet, so I can't really say. Okay, um, so the, uh, I don't know, next part of the journey or whatever is uh, what did I do to the cases to make it work with, with this kit. Um, so I here's, here's the case that I'm going to use. Here's an extra stock Peugeot case that I had laying around. You can see this is what it started out looking like. Transfers are kind of little. There's no third transfer. So here's this guy, and uh, one of the problem areas with this case is there's not a lot of material right here. Let's see, there's that divot deal right there. Uh, I just kind of filled that in with some epoxy putty, and uh, it's rated for 500 degrees. The, the, I mean, the cases shouldn't really get that hot, um, and so it's just like some, I don't know, Poxy resin putty stuff that jammed in there and there and you can see I did go through the case right there right there but I think I'll be fine hopefully and uh, third transfer I just kind of cut this in one thing you want to be careful about is you've got this uh, this hole that goes through the cases right there if I were to just bring it straight down and back I'd, I'd cut through that uh, I'd cut through that uh, that hole. So let me kind of split these guys. So you can see I got pretty pretty close to that, but uh, um, didn't go through. So I don't know. That's it. I I don't know. I think it's gonna blast. So I'll. Uh, I'm going to throw everything together and I'll report back with my findings.